We want our students to make Bonita their home. This is the place where the adults will guide as we teach diversity, tolerance, and ultimately acceptance. So now we move on to our second group, our staff. To support 10,000 students, we have over 1,100 employees. Many have described Bonita as a family, a second home away from home. We are all interconnected for a greater purpose, and it is only together that we will continue to accomplish great things. At Bonita, what makes us a unified school district is not the fact that we serve students from preschool all the way to the day they graduate. It's our purpose that unites us all together. The reason for such academic success is that our teachers are engaging and our students are focused. Our teachers have a mindset of mastery just like our students. They are lifelong learners. And educating students does not happen without a tremendous support from our classified team. We are fortunate to have classified employees who have an unwavering commitment to the teaching and learning process. And amongst us today is Gabby Garcia. She is the head custodian at Extran, and she has been with the district for seven years. Prior to being the head custodian, she worked in the kitchen and was a substitute for us for many years. She has three kids. One is graduated from San Dimas High School, and two are current students. Gabby quietly goes about doing her job. However, her work, her work speaks volumes for the overall success of Extran, and ultimately, the district. Gabby's principal says that she goes above and beyond, and is quite often found attending family events, not as the head custodian, but as a part of the overall Extran family to support the PTA and the students. It is because of the tremendous support that Gabby and 380 more classified employees provide that the teaching and learning process has significantly improved the overall success of the district. Gabby, would you please stand so that we can recognize you? We have 54 administrators that support the work of our teachers and our classified staff. Their commitment to leadership has established a culture of collaboration, risk-taking, and most importantly, fun. And behind our 13 schools is tremendous support from the district office. At Benita, we have a belief that the district office works for our 13 schools, not the other way around. Today, I want to highlight two departments that work behind the scenes, yet have a direct impact on student success and the overall morale of the district. Between five people at the district office, between the purchasing and the warehouse departments, they process more than 4,000 purchase orders each year in support of our schools, staff, and ultimately our students. The orders consist of the food that our students eat, the supplies for our teachers, specialized equipment for students with disabilities, and bids for massive construction projects, and much more. But no matter how big or small the purchase, they know someone is counting on them to do whatever it takes to get the job done. And perhaps the three most important people in the district office <laughs> are those who control our paychecks. Between the three ladies in the office, they ensure everyone is paid correctly and on time. And many of us, we may take this for granted. However, it doesn't happen on accident. It happens because of these three women, and together they process more than 21,000 pay warrants throughout the year. So now, this brings us to our last stakeholder group, our community. Ultimately, a school district strength is formed because of strong partnerships among its stakeholders. Benita Unified is fortunate to have great city relationships throughout the community. And we lean on each other to do what is best for kids to serve our youth. And that starts with two great cities. The cities of San Dimas and Laverne are committed to having strong schools. The city council members provide unending support to the work that we do. We also work closely with local civic organizations, including both city chambers of commerce, the Rotaries, the Seraptimus, the Alps Lodge, the Laverne San Dimas Educational Foundation, just to name a few. The PTA is the largest parent group in our district. 
Over the course of a year, tens of thousands of volunteer hours and even more dollars are donated by PTA members. Simply put, we would not have great schools without support from PTA. Today with us is the district's PTA council leadership and all 13 site PTA presidents. Would you please stand so that we can recognize you? to have many volunteers and community leaders that support and have a direct and substantial positive impact on student achievement. This is the first year that we adopted the district's purpose award. And this award can be given to students, staff, and community members who have had a lasting impact on our district. With that said, I would like to honor someone today with our purpose award. I have been in this district for 11 years. And at every major event, there is one person I can always count on being there, and that is Alta Skinner. Would you please come up there? So Alta, she was a campus supervisor for many years, but once she retired, the real work began. She's an instrumental community volunteer. She's worked on the passage of our bond measures. The Ed Foundation past president, vice president of the Laverne Sandemus Ed Foundation, co-chair of McKinley Children's Center, board of directors. The list goes on and on and on. And I know for all of you who attend events, the one person you always see there is Alta. Alta, thank you for helping us carry out our core values of equity, mastery, and focus on results. This is well deserved. So now, as we look to our future, in addition to the district's 8070 goal, next year we will be going after something really important. Our school community has recognized an increase in the need for access to mental health services. And for the past few years, we have spoken about this importance, providing the support and making it available to all students. But we have been speaking about it in the future tense when we discuss these needs. This will no longer be, as we will no longer put it off. We deeply believe that now is the time to deliver. We will be taking the first but significant step towards giving our students what they need to maintain their mental wellness. In April, the full scope and breadth of this investment will be made clear. But for now, please know that it's coming. We are eager to present it to you, but next school year, we will have a full mental health program available to every student in the Unified School District.